This past week we've been asking you to look at cells and as you were looking at cells, one of the first things we asked you to do is watch this video here called The Inner Life of the Cell. The Inner Life of the Cell was um, a video created by a bunch of animators for Harvard Medical School. And here they try to describe and animate what's going on inside your cell. And we're going to watch that and I'm going to narrate and tell you how that compares to the video you watched yesterday. Well, the different organelles that you were looking at yesterday. So here we go. So we start off inside the arteries. You see red blood cells and white blood cells traveling around your body, <clears throat> carrying oxygen and other things to the areas that it needs. The cell is looking for those materials. It needs oxygen, it needs water, it needs food particles. As it sees what it needs, uh, there are different receptors that grab a hold of that and pull it inside. So the cell membrane is responsible for that. It controls what goes in and out. And here we're seeing things flow into the cell membrane. Now that we're inside the cell membrane, you can see it's filled with all those organelles. You have small ones, large ones, ones that are very complex and ones that are quite simple. The one that's simplest is the cytoskeleton that you're seeing here. Cytoskeleton provides structure, but it's not a skeleton like yours and mine in that it's rigid. This is a flexible skeleton that changes because the cell is always going through changing, whether it's going to replicate and duplicate itself or whether it's just trying to fit through one space to another, the cytoskeleton changes. There are proteins and other things that control that movement, which you're seeing here. The cell is constantly needed of those supplies that we looked at, and those supplies need to be moved around inside the cell. Here you're looking at an alien-like robot, which is probably not the case in your cell. It's moving those particles towards the nucleus and other things. So once we get inside, you can see here's the nucleus. Okay, here's the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. The nucleus controls everything that's going on. It stores that DNA. That DNA is released from the nucleus. It's carried out to where the ribosomes are. The ribosomes, basically they're fancy readers, and they read that DNA and they create proteins, not poops. And those proteins are then used to repair the cell, to help the cell grow, to help the cell go through its different processes. Here some's being taken to the mitochondria. Here you're seeing the rough endoplasmic reticulum. DNA is being created. Proteins being created, pushed inside there. And now that endoplasmic reticulum, the internal transportation system has packaged it up to carry it out. It carries it to the Golgi apparatus, this device here. It is going to repackage that and send things out of the cell. Waste products that are unneeded, carbon dioxide, other things like that. Uh, stuff that becomes your urine and your feces are all being exited from the cell and then they're carried back to the rest. This is a little bit about what's going on. We're going to continue to explore these organelles over the next few weeks. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.